After a year of being told about new restrictions and new pandemic mandates, Colorado is preparing for the day when those rules are gone. It's, it's so close to being over, but we're not quite there yet. Starting this Friday, local health departments will take control of creating COVID restrictions. Counties around the Denver metro area have formed a partnership to impose similar mandates. For the next month, areas like Jefferson County will operate on a less restrictive blue level for one month. By mid-May, the plan is to lift restrictions. At that point, all of us will go to a new dial level we're calling level clear, which basically means there will be no restrictions at all. However, will be under an observation period for three months. Dr. Don Comstock is the director of Jeffco Public Health. More than 90% of people above the age of 70 in the county have been vaccinated. Around 53% of eligible residents in Jeffco have received at least one shot. Still, the number of new cases is rising. The new metrics for determining restrictions are more lenient than we've seen before. Our test positivity is 5.0%. These are numbers that just about a month ago would have had us in orange teetering on red in the dial. So while we're excited about vaccination, we're very concerned that we're still continuing to see COVID transmission in our communities. We're not quite out of the woods. We're not quite through the tunnel yet. Dr. John Douglas is the director of the Tri-County Health Department. He's also preparing to make the move to the new level in May. We're going to move to what we call the clear level which means that all local restrictions will be lifted, capacities back to normal. Counties are now looking at one key metric to determine if more restrictions are needed, hospitalizations. Restrictions will, uh, from full reopening, will be reinstated only if certain key, a certain key metric is exceeded. And that key metric is one of severity. It's increasing hospital admission rates above certain levels. There's hope that won't happen. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger. Nine News.